In this video, we're going to look at how to read a standard normal table. And so if you open up the PDF on your computer, you should see that it has two pages. So we've got the first page and we've got the second page. One of the ways to tell which side or which page you're on is first we're going to look at the very far left hand column. Notice it's got a Z up at the top. Notice on this page all of the values below Z are negative. Whereas if we go to this page, all of the values below Z are positive. So we're going to start on the negative side. So the next thing to notice is up here we've got a picture of a normal curve. And notice down here at the end point or below the curve we've got a little Z. And then we've got this area that is shaded to the left of Z. So what this table is going to do is for different values of Z, it's going to tell us what this area is equal to. So in order to use this table, for, we're always going to want to write our value of Z to two decimal places. So we would have Z equals and then some number to two decimal places. These two numbers right here, these are going to come from the left column and this number is going to be the top row. So for example, let's say that I drew a standard normal curve and I wanted to know how much area was to the left of the number negative 1.53. What I want to do is in the left column I'm going to look up negative 1.5. So I come over here in the left column and I find negative 1.5 which is right here. And then on the top row I'm going to look up the number 3 which is right here. Then what I'm going to do is see where those numbers meet up. So if I kind of use my pen here, notice that those intersect at 0 .0630. So on my little plot here, if I had had Z equals 1.53, then I know that this area right here is going to be equal to 0 .0630. So let's clear some of this off. Looking at the different pieces of our table, all of the numbers on this part of the table, all of those represent areas under the curve. In other words, they represent the shaded area and then the end points or the Z at the bottom that correspond to those different points are all the values here on the left and then along the top. And so this is why whenever we write out Z we're always going to write it in this form so that we can use the table. Now remember that this page has all the negative values. So if you had a positive Z up here, if you were interested in the area to the left of a positive Z, that's when you would go to this side of the table. And again, it's got this little picture for you. Remember that standard normal curves are always centered at zero. So that's why now they've moved Z to somewhere positive. But again, all of these areas or all of these numbers here, these are going to give you the shaded area that corresponds to the different Z values, which are given by this column right here in this row up here. So in the next example we're going to look at lots of examples where we have to read the normal table but this is just to give you a preview of the information that's contained in it.